might think himself viewing the painted walls of an Egyptian temple. The Bradshaws represent a highly sophisticated art form, thought by some to have been painted by Ice Age hunter-gatherer tribes. There are an estimated 100,000 Bradshaw galleries in the Kimberley. They are at least 17,000 years old, but some experts believe they may be up to 60,000 years old. They offer an amazing insight into the day-to-day -day life and customs of an Ice Age civilization that once thrived here. But controversy rages over who created the paintings and who owns them. They've been the focus of extensive research, heated debate, and numerous far-fetched theories about their origins. Donny Wulagudja is a Warrara man from Moanjum, a small community near Derby in the far northwest of the Kimberley. Many of the so-called Bradshaw paintings are located in his country. For Donny and his people, the distinct images have always played an important part in their cultural heritage and have their own relevance quite apart from their recent Bradshaw identity. Well, this blog, Grey, call them Bradshaws, but by right is Bjorn Bjorn. That's the figure that what now people used to call them before white men came. Bjorn Bjorn. Uh, people put it up there, our great, great ancestors before, you know, through the past generation that Bradshaw was there before any European people came and then, then he passed on from generation to generation and now he's with us in the 20th century. Today, Gwion Gwion, or Bradshaw figures, feature in much of the artwork coming out of the Moanjum community. But rather than ochres and charcoal on cave walls, Acrylics and canvas are the medium for these striking images, which to some may be the most ancient representations of figurative art in the world. Mabel King spends much of her time painting the controversial figures. No, he's not blown to someone else. This one comes from my mother country. This one here. Gion Gion, his name. It's about our culture, see? If we're going to lose that, somebody else writing different stories while he's creating something that not belong to him. If I do white man stuff, if I go take white man culture away, what do you think white men will do to it? It'll make a big argument about it. I wish that blog who named that thing should give us back our rights, because it's not... It's not belong to him. So he should come back to the original people, what, what really wrong with that figure. Right.